All right, good day. Welcome, Capricorn. So this is going to be your love reading, all right? Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to try to get a couple readings out today. Hope you guys are all having a beautiful Mother's Day, if you guys are mothers or with your mothers. All right, so for the Capricorns, give me for the Capricorns, please. For the Capricorns. All right. Oh, your cards are coming out right away. Stay optimistic about your love life here, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right. So I feel like a lot of people need to kind of be a little more open-minded in their love life. All right. Be a little more open. Engagement. All right, some of you are engaged or will be getting engaged, all right? Your love life could be, like, leveling up here, all right? To a more secure, committed relationship. It's beautiful. Finances and career. All right. So, you guys might be having some financial issues in your love life here. We do have the flirt. All right, so you guys need to be a little more flirtatious towards each other, or maybe that's what you're doing to kind of level up here, bringing a little more flirtatious energy into your relationship. Or if you want to, if you're not in a relationship, this is what you need to do. You need to extend a more lighthearted energy out to the person that you want. Be more positive in the way that you think. All right, but I don't know what's going on with the finances here, what that's about. All right, we do have a 10 here. Oh, Capricorns. All right, let's see what we've got here with staying optimistic. So you guys might be in some type of a time. Yeah, we do have the 10 of wands. So I feel like, you know, yeah, you need to release the negativity and think more positive here. That's where you're going to grow and expand the most here, all right? That's when your love life is really going to start moving up and ascending here, all right? More positive thinking, less negative. We do have the Knight of Wands here. Okay, so the Knight of Wands can be kind of impulsive. He can make very impulsive decisions without thinking of the consequences. So I feel like somebody is ready to take action here when it comes to, you know leveling up their commitment their love life here being a little bit more free-spirited a little bit more spontaneous we got here the king of pentacles all right so i don't know why that's here though because the king of pentacles you know maybe you're just having a tough time when it comes to you know embarking on a new journey taking some type of a finance financial risk all right so but one thing i like to tell people is you know, sometimes you have to throw money in to invest into something before you see it, you know, come back and, you know, even bigger. So sometimes you've got to throw money out there, invest in something, you know, and, you know, for it might take a while before you really see the benefits. But with the King of Pentacles here, you're going to benefit. So if there is an issue with finances... Well, guess what? You have the King of Pentacles here, so just relax, all right? The King of Pentacles knows what he's doing when it comes to money, all right? He knows what he's doing. That's why he's wearing a business suit here and looking like he's, G, you know, GQ here. It's like Big Daddy in the building. All right, let's get a little bit more for the Capricorns. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, everything's going to be just fine. There's that Three of Wands again. All right? Don't worry about these finances here. We got the Queen of Wands here. All right? It's all about being courageous and taking them daring moves. And them daring moves is what's going to really expand and really set beautiful things in motion for you. All right, Capricorns? So keep making them investments because it's doing wonderful but you really need to focus on more positive thinking to really draw in that. But you're doing beautiful here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. You're expanding. You're growing. Everything that you invested in is going to come back threefold in a positive way here. All right. 
Yeah, we got expect a powerful change. There's going to be a big change. So you're making wise decisions here. This impulsive move is doing it. Keep holding your vision, all right? Work through your fears here. Release whatever fears you have. Whatever's keeping you a little negative here or fearful, keep, keep pushing. Meditate and contemplate your decisions and hold your vision. That's how you're getting your wheel of fortune and everything's coming in for you. Commitment's being tested here. All right, so hold your vision. Keep focusing on what it is that you want here. All right, so you can get it threefold in a positive way. All right, so that's what I have for you, Capricorns. Doesn't really surprise me that it's about finances. So you guys have a good day.